back. We're back. <laughs> Sorry, Jin. Uh, ADHD. Fairly like myself. Um, so yeah, just finished bag. Um, bag number four here. Got a couple of spare parts that I'll move to the side. Um, welcome back. Sorry uh, for the, the quick absence there, but we're back onto just finishing bag number four. Onto bag five. Um, let's get it. Put the stickers away. Use those in the last last lot of bags. One bag in bag five, small bag. This is where I find out there is another one, but I think it's almost, not quite, but almost a bag per number for the rest of this. Um, here we go. Let's move on. Bag number five. And who guesses what, uh, this looks like a wheel arch. I'm guessing we're building wheel arches here. I'm gonna mix it around to make it as hard as it is as possible for me to find. Um, starting off well there though. I love this green. I'm not gonna get tired of saying it. I love it. It's, um, yeah, it's just such a nice pastel color. I think it's a good choice. Well done Lego. So this is, yeah, I'm guessing going to be the wheel arch, but we will find out. Hello, Jin. I'm live with one viewer. Whoop, whoop. I thought, why not stream it? I'm, I'm building, um, I may as well just see if anyone else wants just to watch her lovely little bit of Spanish background music um, and just chill. Okay, two corners. Thank you, thank you. I've I've seen. Welcome. Please give any feedback or anything. I'm more than happy to hear that, and I can't. Can't multitask it seems, and I've just, I've, oh man, I've got my first error. Come on, that's an annoying one. Okay, we did it. We're good. Okay, we're back. <laughs> we go again. So, I'm, I'm. I'm bad at just following the instructions because I don't like to look what parts are needed and I'm, I'm the old school of look by eye and play spot the difference and see what should go where. Um, uh, yeah, I'm fairly, fairly new I'd say. Haven't really done it much. I mean, I've done it casually a bit in the past, but never, never really um, properly. I'm without job, so I thought, hey, let's become a pro streamer and... <laughs> no, that's a half a jest. Um, no, I enjoy making Lego, so I thought I'll, um, I'll stream some builds that I've done. Um, and it's an excuse for the girlfriend to say why I'm buying so much Lego. And hopefully it works out. We'll see. It's all fun, though. Four by one plate. I'm correct. I've seen a sneak peek of the future. Um, <laughs> cheers, thank you. Um, this is going to be the front wheel arch, I can tell, by being able to see the future. One page ahead of, of you watching. Um, 
Um, I'll check you out after, after my stream. Um, where am I? I'm at 134. Cool. 135. I was saying in um, the, in the previous bags, it's quite nice that they don't have much in each bag. So you can like, bag by bag, it's not like a huge task to undergo. Not that building Lego over is a big task, but it breaks it up quite nicely that the bags aren't huge or not much within them. So you're feeling, I guess, more sense of accomplishment um, after each bag. Whereas like some of the bigger builds where you've got four bags. Um, favorite set? Um, I, I, I mean, I've, so I, <laughs> I, um, the most enjoyable one was probably the Star Wars 8080, the, the big massive one. Although some of it was quite repetitive, I did it in a way that kind of didn't feel that. But just sitting down, building that, watching literally all nine films, actually plus the, the ones in between. Um, yeah, that was great. That, um, that was quite immersive doing that. It is, um, yeah, um, that it's, it's huge, but because it's not actually that wide, you can, you can, um, fit into, it, it, it's not too bad as a display item. Um, whereas obviously like the Millennium Falcon, which is super, not that tall, but so why that is literally like a whole coffee table. That's the, that's the blue whale, white whale, whatever whale, pink whale, pink dolphin. Yeah, the UCS would be the, that'd be the dream. One day, one day. I mean, even this is gonna be a pretty, pretty decent set. I mean, it's not gonna get really any longer, but the height of that is gonna be, yeah, be a nice little, nice little display one. RTG2 does look cool. Um, I'm also tempted by the new um, X-Wing that's coming out. Um, I'd like to build up a little Star Wars collection, which would be cool. Um, again, space is always going to be the issue, but I think, what was it, May, uh, May the 4th, or actually at the start of May, LEGO are going to get having all their promotions, so we'll see, we'll see the stuff that they're bringing out. Um, I think you can get some, uh, to be fair, there's some good ones at the moment. Um, but yeah, some kind of wait maybe to see what the reviews are of those freebies. Man, I'm looking for this. Am I... Have I got this one right? No, I, I was good. I was good. I'm going to get better at this multitasking and, and doing two at once. This is where I'll like build it all and I'll notice like a whole door missing. Um, Razor Quest, the, the, the big UCS, big one. Um, that also looks massive. That's like that's a big, a big chunky boy. Um, I quite like them to do, which I, I feel they, they may not now because they may miss a chance from um, Andor. Um, I forgot the, the name of it. That the ship in that um, that one would be so cool. Um, partly because it seems like a, an elite, like badass ship. Um, but also looks pretty, pretty good on display too. Right, two by ones in here. Add it. I really enjoyed it. I think it's nice that there's like no lightsabers or anything in Andor, um, but it was a bit more gritty. Um, yeah, would recommend anyone watching that. Cool, so I think that's 138 done. On to the next page, which is gonna be the final assembly before we start putting it together. And then I'm assuming we're gonna have a very similar build on the other side, but because this is actually taking quite a while, it probably won't feel too repetitive, which is quite nice. Don't, Technic less so. Um, I don't have really any other sets. I prefer the um, actual block builds, I guess you could call them. Um, but 
I guess with with most of the larger sets, you're going to have Technic in there um, at some point. Um, the original Land Rover, um, the more modern one, Technic one, I did want that. But then this came out and I'm actually much prefer, I think, this and the, the look of it and the more classic, classic style. Yeah, I think all the bigger stuff is it's all built into it. So like a lot of this sh chassis is obviously built with Technic um, elements. Um, yeah. And I've also got, I'll show a little stream. I've got my, my BD-1, which has got a fair bit of Technic in it as well. I love this, I love this little droid. Right, where are we at? B yeah, BD1's great. I, I very much enjoyed. I love the game. Excited for the new one. Yeah, it's um, it, it lives on the desk where it's not going to get <laughs> moved or brushed brushed up against because um, he is a bit more fragile. I'm going to change the chat settings on my screen so it doesn't stay up the whole time. Maybe I'll leave it. Actually, it makes more sense if people watch this on record that it makes a bit more sense. Although it is hidden at the bottom. Oh, well. We can work on that in the future. Right. Have I done that? Flip it around. I've added an extra brick on there that I didn't need to do. Right, let me just pause my building whilst I edit my chat. building. So now we need to assemble these two bits together. Go in the right way. Then we're putting this in the front. So how does this, this goes on top of that. Click it in there. Beautiful. One arch done. One arch done. I'm assuming we'll be going on to the next one. Although, if not, I think this looks different. Ah, this is going to be the, the front lights. Okay, that's quite nice as well that we're doing a bit more of that. So then when we do come back around to it, it's not going to seem again so repetitive. Um, satisfying about these rounded rounded sides let me also just edit and put the chat on the other side just in case it comes up again that'll make more sense there we go Okay, I feel that this is the same color green that they have in one of the modular buildings, is it the hotel. Uh, I think they've got that in there. Let 
and you bend and then some plates on top I mean yeah yeah I mean thanks for coming and staying by wasn't expecting to chat to anyone to be honest I was just record doing this live just because I was going to rec record it and I'm going to put it on um, break it up and put it onto YouTube um, which I did just playing around with uh, one of the mini um, houses of the world, one of the freebies. I just put that up. Um, so yeah, nice to to have someone to bounce off. <laughs> um, these are indeed the lights for the same side. Oh, look at that. It's as if it's designed to just slot together. Oh, it is taking shape. If my camera can focus. Love it. Is this now the time for a... Yep. We're going to be doing pretty similar, but on um, on the other side, and I think that's probably going to be mostly this bag, which again, as I say, is um, is quite nice. Breaks it up a bit, gives you that sense of accomplishment. How's the music as well? You're a fan of the Espanol? Si? Si, senor? Si, senorita? No hablo espanol. Okay. Do it right this time. I did it wrong before. Piece. Oh, a bit too strong. Never get tired of that squishy click. Mm. Well, I get tired of that. That was a bit too forceful. What have I messed up? What have I done? Okay, I need the one piece. It's just one piece at the bottom hasn't been um, strengthened yet. Good, good, good. I did try a, a different one which didn't have any background sound, so it was a bit, probably a bit too plain. And... Have I gone mad? Have I missed another corner? No, I don't need a corner piece. Dot. Stud. Still learning all the technical names for everything. So I'll probably just make most of it up. One stud, two stud, three stud, four. And some roundy boys. I realize I've not moved on this. I've done all that. Sorry. <laughs> um, I have to turn the page for myself. Slightly different here. We've got a little blue stud on top there. Interesting. I do like all the pastel colors, but that blue is. Doesn't quite seem in keeping, but we'll see how it looks in, in complete. When it is complete, that is. And oh, there we go, that's what I needed. 
strength in that bottom piece, this one kept falling off. Well, this is probably also the exact same colour as the Statue of Liberty. Let's see that. Look at that! Just need to do the front. Front little bump a bit, which will be on the next bit, no doubt. Yes, sir. That's good. One, two, three. And then that's hiding away there. And then plates on top. I feel like this is maybe going to be more grill elements, you think? Nah, maybe. Maybe, maybe. You like the surprise. Don't want to spoil it for myself. Or anyone happening to be watching. Um. And lights. assembled. Pretty simple lights, but effective. Um, and then, oh maybe that's what I, did I miss that on the previous one? I think I may have, I think I may be stupid. Yeah, I appreciate it, thanks very much. Um, and enjoy, enjoy. Um, I, yeah, again, once I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Have, have a great rest of your day. And then I'll just double check that I've, which bits, I, which bits I've missed. Because I've definitely missed some. I think I missed this on the other side. Which is Mimico. Nicely go on this corner, and I'm guaranteeing I have missed it on the other side. This little gap here should have been that there. So, excuse me, whilst I let's just go back and check that. Yeah, this is the bit that I did miss, so hopefully, that's not too tricky to fix. And I'd already pre-built, expecting that. Easy fix. There we go. Front bit taking shape. Taking shape. And let me skip all the way through to the next bit. 
I was correct. I nailed it. It is more front, front, um, front, front bumper being built here. Which is nice. Big old grill on the front. Looks a bit boxy now, but I mean it is kind of a boxy car, but I like it. Look at that grill. With the lights. Fresh. Space for a number plate still as well. My guess is that is gonna be the end of that bag. <laughs> 